This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. Following a traffic fatality on a neighboring Abaco last week, now police on Grand Bahama are investigating a traffic fatality, the accident occurring on Tuesday shortly after 5.20 p.m. Police received a report of a traffic accident in the area of East Sunrise Highway and Sergeant Major Road. Preliminary reports reveal that a gray Dodge Avenger was traveling east along East Sunrise Highway driven by an adult female accompanied by a male child when she lost control and collided with a tree in the center median. The driver succumbed on the scene and the child was transported to hospital for medical attention. Investigations are being continued there. A 57-year-old Bahamian man of Bernard Road allegedly found in possession of over $400,000 in mixed currency is currently in police custody. The sum of money, which is believed to be ill-gotten gains, was in mixed Bahamian and U.S. currency, according to police reports. Now, the Bernard Road resident was arrested sometime around 11 a.m. on Tuesday after officers of the Drug Enforcement Unit, assisted by officers from the Financial Crimes Investigations Branch, executed a search warrant on his residence. Prior to the searching of the man's home, officers were conducting a routine traffic stop in the Cable Beach area when they conducted a search of a flatbed truck driven by the 57-year-old and found a large amount of cash. This led them to the man's home where officers found another large stash of cash and confiscated the same, which is believed to be from the proceeds of crime. Active police investigations continue. November has been officially declared as National Micro, Small and Medium Sized Enterprises or MSME Month by Small Business Development Center, the SBDC, and this is in collaboration with the Ministry of Economic Affairs. Interim Executive Director of the SBDC, Samantha Roll, says throughout the month of November, there will be a variety of events dedicated to highlighting the accomplishments of Bahamian business owners. Since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, we have seen a 40% uptick in our total number of funding clients. Year to date, we have received over 600 requests between funding programs, advisory services, and mentorship opportunities throughout Seven Islands. As we seek to expand our presence in the Family Islands, and by enhancing our service offering, streamlining processes, and continuing to forge strategic partnerships, we anticipate the exponential increase in our client base. Throughout November, there will be a series of events and activities dedicated to highlighting the accomplishments of Bahamian business owners. Additionally, the SPDC will host one event in Family Islands with SPDC representation, namely Abaco, Andras, Eleuthera, Grand Bahama, and Long Island, followed by an honorary celebration in New Providence. According to Ms. Rowe, since the COVID-19 pandemic began, the SBDC has been advocating for this initiative, and they are now glad to see it come to fruition. Minister of Economic Affairs, Senator Michael Halkidis, notes how important the micro, small, and medium-sized businesses are to the economy. It is well established that micro, small, and medium enterprises are the lifeblood of any economy, and therefore it is incumbent upon government to promote an environment in which MSMEs can thrive and go on to become large businesses. To that end, the government of the Bahamas is committed to support the various organizations and entities whose mission it is to promote and support MSMEs. This includes the Small Business Development Center, the Bahamas Development Bank, the Venture Capital Fund, BAIC, BAMSI, and indeed the central government of the Bahamas through its procurement practices. As for the events during the month, communications executive Michael Munnings shared the following details. Starting on the 5th, we will have a brunch and business series in the island of Andrus. On November 9th, the master meetup in Eleuthera. November 10th in New Providence, we will have an official mix and mingle for small business owners and entrepreneurs. On the 17th of November, there's the Long Island Business Outlook. On the 18th, there's a mix, mingle, and market series in Abaco. On November 22nd, at the Warwick Hotel, there's an all-access business forum, which is open to members of the public. November 26th, we will have our annual Small Business Showcase followed by the Grand Bahama Business Expo on November 28th and 29th, and the month will conclude with a, with a national honors ceremony on November 30th. 
As of today, the SBDC has funded approximately $73 million to approximately 1,936 businesses across the Bahamas over the past five years. Ms. Roll says the SBDC is excited to continue the support of micro, small, and medium-sized businesses. And finally, this year has seen many changes in the country, especially in the nation's business sector, with one of those changes being Fusion Superplex, switching partnerships with local communications companies going from Cable Bahamas, who owns the brands Rev TV and Alive, over to the Bahamas Telecommunications Company, BTC. Fusion Superplex CEO Carlos Folk says a partnership with BTC was always the plan some points down the line due to the telecommunications company legacy status. They are providing us with methodologies and tools and digital monetization and also techniques of how to uh, improve business services by use of technology. And so while working with our partner and while taking an internal look into the business, we seek to find increase in efficiencies. And those, those improvements in economies of scale will get us through the increase in cost overall. The Fusion CEO described their previous partnership with Cable Bahamas as a great company, but Mr. Folks explains that a number of the initiatives that BTC is working on is completely in sync with what Fusion is hoping to do years down the line. The innovation, um, the fiber optic rollout, um, I like their initiatives, the um, free Wi-Fi in the park, for example, the community outreach that Fusion is attempting to initiate they already doing and with these synergies we believe that our, our company will move faster into our next phases with BTC as, as our new partner all right and of course we also provide um, a benefit to BTC as a home base for their um, their employment seminars and, and their uh, outreach to the community where they can bring in the school kids for example and bring them to the IMAX theater and this is one of the things they would like to do and show them our educational films through our project and power program um, and give people entertaining educational content. Back in 2018 Cable Bahamas and Fusion Superplex announced a five-year partnership that is now coming to an end. And that'll do it for your JCN Evening News. Once again I'm Jorino Saunders. Thanks for joining us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.